Hi, in this video I'm going to uh, be restoring or attaching a SQL database. Um, the environment, environment that I have is a SQL a, a Server 2008 R2 standard and it's a SQL Server 2008 R2 RTM version without any SP is the very first build. So the, so the task that I'm going to do today is um, I have already taken a backup of two SQL databases and I will be attaching those or restoring those backups on this SQL server and then I will be creating um, ODBC DSN. Usually the ODBC DSN is, is done on the application server where you want to use the database and you want to make the connection but just for demonstration purposes I will just do the ODBC connection on this machine uh, on this server here. <coughs> So first I'm going to open up the SQL Server Management Studio um, and then connect it, go to the databases. So the backup file is located under this folder. Um, usually you have the backup um, I mean usually have the databases and the backups on 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 separate drives but just for demonstration purposes I have everything under one which is C so let's see uh, so on the databases on in the uh, SQL Server Management Studio on the databases you can right click and um, choose restore database And then um, you can choose from device and click on add. And then uh, it, uh, since the database, the way I had installed it, I uh, defined that the backup that the backup um, folder will be there. So it automatically looks for the default backup folder. But wherever you have your backup. You can you can uh, browse through and then you can uh, select those. So I'm just gonna do these two backup files. So I'll take the first one, and hit OK. So usually you should see this it means the backup file is OK. Restore OK. So it's asking me where do I want to restore this backup. So um, it's giving me the option that you want to restore it to the same name. So, sure, I'll just use the same name where I will be restoring this. Um, and I need to select this that what am I restoring it from? So, restoring it from here and restoring it to here. And these are some other options that. Um, once you restore it, uh, what what's the name of the database um, that you want to give? Uh, where's the location if you want to save it to somewhere else? Um, but these are the default locations that I had configured while I was installing the SQL Server. That everything goes under SQL DB and then under User Databases. Uh, so this is one of my older databases which I can get rid of. Uh, so that's where it will go. So if you have separate drives, so it will definitely go to a separate drive, DE or whatever the drive that you have. So let's just go and hit OK. And you can see the status here. <clears throat> this is a, about a 6 gig uh, files so it may take a couple of seconds. The other database I have is a pretty smaller database which will which should take maybe a second, two seconds. Alright, so this is done, um, and there it is. You can see all your all your database tables. 
uh, this is actually uh, the database of one of the vCenter servers I had for VMware uh, so that's where it is now I will be restoring the second uh, backup file so click on restore database and use device click add and this time I'm going to do this one so this is my vCenter the older vCenter vCenter 5 database update manager backup the first one that I had uh, restored was the vCenter 5 database so anyways the second database is here <coughs> you select that you want to restore this database and where do you want to restore it so it has auto, it has given me it's giving me the option that would you like to restore it to the same name which sure I would like to use the same name and again you can change the location if you want to and this was a relatively smaller database so it, 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 it was fast so now I have these two databases that are attached to the SQL server um, let's just go, uh, go ahead and do the second part which is the to create the ODBC connection um, again this is usually done on an application server where you have your application and you want to use that um, you want to use this database and attach it to your application um, but if you have everything installed on the same server you can you can, you, you can then create the ODBC connection on the same server I'm going to minimize this and I'll type ODBC so before I sh uh, go over there let me just show you that this is a Windows 2008 R2 um, it's a 64-bit machine so the ODBC is 64-bit when I open it it's 64-bit by default if you're using Windows 2012 server and if you type ODBC here so you'll see a list, you'll see option for ODBC32 or ODBC64. But Windows 2008 just gives you, if it's a 64-bit machine, it just gives you a default ODBC 64-bit. Uh, you can open a 32-bit, and I'll show you how, how, how to do that. So I'm just going to open up um, system DSN. So DSN stands for data store name. You click on add, and I'm just going to use the SQL native client. And here, I'm going to choose the name of this server, which is, which the name of the server here is vCenter5. So this is my SQL database server. Um, and if you are using it on an application server, so you'll definitely, and if you have, if you have multiple SQL servers running in your environment, uh, so you'll see a list of different servers. So you just choose the server that you want to um, that I mean that you want. So recent five is a server, and I'm just gonna give a uh, a name for the ODBC. So let's just call it uh, recenter five ODBC, and I'm just gonna create the same name here. But you can you can write anything here. on next um, if you're using a SQL um, any other SQL authentication uh, for example an SA password or any other service account password so use that I am just using the Windows integrated authentication um, so here I'm, I'll choose what database do I need to connect to? So this will be, I'm using the VC, VC5 database. Hit next and hit finish and test to see 
Yes, it works perfectly. Hit OK. And hit OK again. So here I have uh, a VC, vCenter 5 or EVC connection ready to go. Let's just do another ODBC connection for 32 bit. So for 32 bit in Windows 8, um, you have to go to you have to go to C, then Windows, then Sys WoW folder, which is here, and then just type ODBC. So this file called ODBC AD32. So double click this. This is a 32 bit system DSM. So this will be for the second database. Second database, I'm just giving it a name as Update Manager ODBC, same as description. Again, you can, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll go back. You can, if you are using an, any other uh, username, and password, or service account, use that. I'm just using the system um, Windows, Windows password. And I'm changing my database to the second database. Finish. Test, everything is working fine, good, and hit OK, and hit OK. So that's it. Um, I have my two databases here, and the ODBC connection is, has also been established. Well, thank you very much for watching this video.